So here come the next two Koreans. It is a the next match is Korean sweep individual in the semi-finals of the semi women's individual competition. And here we have the second and third seeds going at it. Lee Haejin, the 26-year-old, and the teenager, Oh Yejin, who's just 18. In target number one, we have Im Haejin representing Korea. In target number two, Oh Yejin from Korea. Our line judge is Mahmoudul Hassan Khan. Both of these Korean archers already gold medalists in the team's event here and have very similar performances in their earlier matches in the individual competition with O getting through the 1-8 elimination, six set points to four against Akta of Bangladesh and then beating Riddhi of India in the quarterfinals by six set points to nil. And Lim getting through over Nguyet of Vietnam, 6-2 in her 1-8 eliminator, and then beating Vedwan of India, 6 set points to nil in the quarterfinals. So here we go. It's going to be O, oh, the 18-year-old, to go first. Eight. And this, uh, this event is the international debut for both of these Korean archers. Nine. No tens yet for either of these two. Nine. You can see that nice deep breath just before she takes that shot. Imagine there's some nerves up there on her first appearance. Ten. On the stage. There's the first ten of the semi. Ten. You know, we'll end that set with a ten, so Hey Jin could take this with a nine or a ten. Nine. Anything gold will do it, and she's done it. So solid three arrows from Lim Hey Jin. Three gold scores, and she's got that one, Nikki, by a point. Yeah, looking really nice, aren't they? It's quite different styles between the two of them. Um, I think O's got a more uh, sort of quicker, faster, almost sharp movement to her draw. Um, so you see a little bit of variances between these two, two Korean archers. Well, these two seemingly very evenly matched. They were really similar to in qualifying as well. 677 for Lim, 37 tens, and you guessed it, Oh, also had 37 tens in her qualification, but just picked her by four points. So let's see how the second set goes now, with Lim leading by two set points to nil. to go first. Nine. Nine. X. A. Looks a bit despondent with that one. Just got to push that reset button, get back to a normal process. X. Beautiful group in the first three, just a little bit low, weren't they? She's made that adjustment, really centered the group now. 10. Well, that 10 comes, but has it come a little too late for Oh Yi Jin? Eight or higher for Lim Hajin here to win the second set. Nine. And it, it isn't a perfect set, but it's good enough. And now Lim Hajin in a good.
good position. Four set points to nil. And the pressure right on the youngster now. Second set is already completed. We see... We see... One, Coach playing Andy quite an important role in between ends, someone there to talk to, even if it's just to settle you down, make you laugh, something like that, you know, distract you from what's going on really, so both utilising their coaches and their boxes. Yeah, Lim looking solid. So here is... The third set now, and oh, must get something out of this set to prolong the match. If she loses the set, it's all over. Nine, maybe ten. Wow, well, that's a tough one from first glance, isn't it? To see if that was a nine or a ten. X. Well, there's absolutely no doubt about that one. What a beauty. It's three tens from the last four arrows for Lim now. Ten. Hey. She knew that was going to go left. She saw that front arm trying to push it over. So maybe she was just aiming there or she felt something in the shot, just tried to rescue it, but not enough. X. Well, that's a commanding set there from, oh, it could be the perfect set. And she will clinch the set and stay alive Nine. in the match. And that eight having a big impact on Lim closing out the match there. So there's a twist for you. And that's all it takes, doesn't it, Nikki? Just one slight mistake on the shooting line can have a big impact at the other end. Yeah, especially at this level as well, um, you know, you, you kind of know as an archer, as soon as you shot the, the shot, you get a feedback straight away, you know, what it feel like, was it your normal? So she would have either just been aiming to that side or there was something she felt, the balance of the shot, the release of the shot, which she knew that would make it go left. She tried to swing the bow over and yeah, it's just such tiny margins, but that's the result. So 4-2. Target number one is leading two points. After well, locked in. The score is 29-27. So that first arrow did just miss the 10 line from O. But still good enough for her to get on the board and stay alive. Keep alive her hopes of making the gold medal match. So fourth set now. Lim Hagen leading by four set points to two. Nine. Ten. Nine. Slightly longer hold, just pushing it up, looking despondent, and the rice smile to the coach. Nine, maybe ten. Well, this must be a ten now for O. Oh. It is. Gives her a slender chance. But it's on the bow here of Lim. A ten will absolutely secure it. A nine will be enough as well. Ten. There it is. It's a brilliant way to finish. And Hajin has got through to the gold medal match with some superb archery. What a way to finish it. It looks like a perfect set. There was one arrow score there that might have to be examined, but it won't matter to the outcome of the match. There was only really one arrow that... She lost control of in that entire match, Lim Hajin.
She's very, very solid all the way through, and she's going to go through to the gold medal match, winning the semi final by six set points to two. Uh, 29 to 28 was that set score. In fact, it wasn't a perfect set. But Lim Hei Jin is through. And deservedly so, I think, too, Nikki. Yeah, really good shooting from her. I mean, it's going to line up a great final, isn't it, uh, for us in the gold medal match. See which two of these fantastic Korean archers can overcome the other.